Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Rosa Alejandra on the line, and she's CEO over at Rosa Alejandra Consulting. Rosa, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, and I'm excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about women empowerment through the Woman Up movement. So I'm excited to learn more about that. But before we go into that, um, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing over at Rosa Alejandra Consulting, please. Yes, of course. So it's very exciting because everything I do involves creating and delivering programs to empower women so they can actually go on to empower others. And more, but more, more than anything is helping them believe in themselves, helping them believe in that they can actually achieve those goals. Um, and again, you know, seeing them through. So I think this is a, uh, I think it's wonderful what you're doing first off in your programs, and we're going to go into yeah. further. Um, so let's just dive right in. So the Woman Up movement, tell us more about this. How did this come about? <laughs> well, I think more than anything, it came about because that is very much my personality. I'm very much in, in your face type of girl, right? I don't sugarcoat. I don't, I'm not here to pet you. I'm here to shake you up. I'm naturally a disruptor. And um, and it goes with everything I've done. You know, I'm also a, I'm also a, a bestseller, a bestselling author. Suddenly I can talk. Sorry, a bestselling author. And it's everything that I do is very raw, very very real. So I wanted to shake women to uh, to understand that there is this one thing. There is just one thing they have to do so that they can actually make a difference in the world. And that's the woman up. And what they tells off is taking care of themselves, seeing themselves as a priority, not putting themselves on the back burner, understanding that if they're not okay, nobody, and I do mean nobody around them is okay, understanding that them putting themselves on the back burner and catering to everyone else only depletes them so that at some point they're going to be able to give less instead of more. So right now I am in the process of writing the second book, which is The Art of Selfless Selfishness. So in order to teach women that it's okay to be selfish, because at the end, that is the most selfless thing you can do. So that's how the Woman Up movement came about. That's awesome. I love this. Uh, and so let's, let's go a little bit more into some of the workshops that you've been delivering. So tell us a little bit more about those, please. Of course. So step one for for this movement is for you to come on with me on a 21-day journal. And this, I do it absolutely free. And the reason I do it absolutely free, and it's very personalized, by the way, so I'm there with you. You're not just jumped in a, you know, in a, in a course platform. It's because at the end of the day, I cannot push you, empower you, or teach you anything new if you don't feel you're worthy of receiving, right? So the journaling uh, portion or the journaling challenge allows you to start getting into the dirty, grimy, dark, scary spots of you to understand why you act the way you act, even though you want to do something else, why you're constantly run by a subconscious belief system that is actually toxic, and even though you have goals and dreams and aspirations, your actions do not match what your vision sees. So we get into that first uh, in order to start pretty much bringing out all the skeletons from the closet, which means all your, you know, preconceived belief systems, your generational belief systems, everything that really doesn't belong to you. And at some point within the 21 days, we take out the trash and we don't put it back in. And then we go from there. So that's one of the, one of the processes, which is really amazing to see the transformation and just, just to see how women speak of themselves from day one compared to day 21. It is absolutely crazy. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and so tell us, so that that's one part of it. Give us some more yes. of your workshops. I know you have multiple. I think yes. in the mirror. I mean, give us some more of these. Yes. So we go, so we go into a process that is called uh, success mapping. So now that you believe you're worth it, what are you going to do with your new uh, found information, right? So I take you through a success mapping wor- workshop, and, and we do exactly that. Like you get a huge piece of paper from wall to wall, and you get to draw your entire success map, <laughs> and you have to schedule it and everything. So that's another one that we do. And right now, because of everything that's happening, we do it online, but it's usually live. And both in the mirror. So 
as I was telling you um, a little bit ago, my I'm a guide. More than a coach, I'm a guide. And I can help you, well, more than help you, I teach you how to heal yourself through the mirror. That is, that is my specialty. So even the journaling is through the mirror as well. And um, Boss in the Mirror is actually a retreat. Uh, so once you've gone through several workshops that are required, that are actually preparing you to be able to take on this type of retreat for three days, that's where you end up. And after that, pretty much, you are pretty um, – your belt is full of tools that you can now use to continue to carve away, you know, towards your future and your goals. Man, that's awesome. I love it. I love what you're doing. I love um kind of like how you're really taking care of the um of the people that you're helping, meaning it's you're very well rounded in what you're doing and the programming is very systematic and I and I can tell just based off the passion that you get results. I can feel that people <laughs> warm up to you, they know that your heart's in what you're doing and they're like, Oh, they wanna be disrupted. They go to Rosa, huh? Right, exactly. Yes, definitely. It's not for the faint of heart, absolutely. It's going to require a lot of soul and and love to go through it, a lot of commitment. But see, it's that's that's the that's the best part. I get to teach you that the commitment is to you, not to the program, not to me, but to you. And if you cannot find that commitment, then there is an issue that you need to address. So again, don't walk away because I'm teaching you how to commit to yourself. And at the end of the day, that's what life is about. You're not doing this for anyone else but you. And the beauty of it is that when you do it for yourself, it automatically trickles out to everyone else. So you'll be able to raise better children. You'll be able to have better relationships. You'll be able to become that leader that makes that impact of change in your community, in your home, in the world. Fantastic. So, Rosa, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about the Woman Up movement or working with um, you and your team over at Rosa Alejandra Consulting, I mean, what's the best way for them to connect? You can go to rosaalejandra.online and you will be able to see everything we're doing right now. Fantastic. Well, Rosa, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about what you're doing and the Woman Up movement, so all great stuff there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, a leave me review on the Apple iTunes Store. And if you're watching on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Rosa, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you.